Well, hello, Scorpio, and welcome, or welcome back to Bohemian Path Tarot. I'm Jen, and today we're doing June tarot readings. I've got the Unfolding Path Tarot here, and I'm going to go ahead and give the deck a really good shuffle for you. You know, I like to skip ahead over this part, so I'll go ahead and fast forward and I'll meet you on the other side of the shuffle for your reading. See you there. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what we've got. Temperance. The sun. Empress, the moon. Okay, so the first thing we have to point out here is that we have four major arcana cards. So that's huge, right? Uh, that means that June is a time for some big shifts internally and externally. Uh, with the moon card at kind of the foundation point. Uh, that means we start internally. We start with some shadow work. We start in a time of reflection. Now, the moon card is very good for shadow work, for meditation. It's also good, of course, for picking up vibes, picking up emotional energy, picking up emotional data, picking up um you know, things instinctually, but that's a superpower you Scorpios have already anyway. It's also a good time for anything creative, anything artistic. So any of you that are working on any creative projects, any writing projects, any music, albums, anything like that, this is an excellent time for that. Um, but I think uh, also because we see uh, so many other major arcana cards, um, I think for a lot of you, you may be using an artistic project to help you work through some shadow stuff, to get through some self-sabotage stuff, um, to make some better decisions, but um, some of you may be just certainly taking stock at this time so that you can um, bring more balance into your life, make some bigger decisions to experience some greater victories. Um, Cause we'll see that here, you know, obviously the sun is kind of in some ways the opposite of the moon. It's where the, from the reflections you make over here, um, the decisions and the action can be taken, you know, in, in the sun, Card, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So in any case, um, you're not afraid of the moon time, right? This is, you know, you could you could dwell here um, very comfortably, but you don't want to get lost here. So uh, do, uh, you know, do take the time, do, uh, you know, your shadow work or um, whatever project that you're working on to help you get through this um, issue or take stock or do the reflection or whatever it is and then use June to move on through this it looks like balance um, finding more balance whether it's work-life balance or relationship balance or you know sort of more financial uh, balance so you're not scrimping and panicking you know at the end of every month or whatever it is what whatever the balance is that you need to bring in your life this is the phase to you know kind of work out the self-sabotage or whatever it is or you know um cut the sort of fat out of your life or whatever it is that is kind of bogging you down because Scorpio you are so good at you know carrying other folks uh, that steal that sort of equilibrium for you right you're so good at collecting strays that can kind of 
take that balance away from you. And it might be time for you to strip away, you know, some of that, some of that excess weight so you can get back to balance. Um, because it's, it's really time for you to experience more um, equilibrium. Um, and that's what, that's what we've got the sort of the first kind of a lesson here after this point of reflection is putting into place conscious effort towards equilibrium, um, more uh, processes, more conscious choices to um, uh, recycle, upcycle, kind of trim and I almost hate to say it because you guys are so good at like big and bold and juicy and extra, but this is about sort of, you know, that like that art deco kind of minimalism. I hope that, I hope that makes sense, you know, just kind of containing things a little bit. I wouldn't ask you to be anything that you're not, but just bringing it down into a more manageable, sort of beautiful, balanced way for your own benefit and for the benefit of your loved ones. Now, at on the other side of this sort of um, honing and harmonious sort of balancing, we have the sun, which is absolutely about easy forward movement. It's, as we mentioned previously, it's like the opposite of the moon, right? Where in the moon phase where we're feeling all these feelings and having all these thoughts and chasing these little inner demons and having these imaginary conversations maybe with people who've done us wrong or things we wish we had said or things we wish we could be or things we wish we could do or things we wish we had achieved or how to, you know, the moon time can be kind of that dark tea time of the soul. The sun is victory. Even if we aren't exactly where we want to be, the sun is that time where, like, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's, it's an easier, more straightforward a time of comfort. Even if you're someone who has a tendency to have all those feelings or have anxieties or have, you know, that sort of, that constant inner conversation, the sun card showing up shows a, at least a moment of clarity, at least a moment of feeling that victory. So for some of you Scorpios, this could be an event, an actual event that inspires that, that feeling of victory or that feeling of success. So this could be like booking a job. This could be, um, you know, connecting with a loved one or a sort of a romantic event or moment or connection. I will say this is very specific, so this isn't going to ring true for everybody. But the sun does have some connections with uh, Hollywood and spotlights. So for any of my viewers who are um, performers, there is that piece. There could be uh, some connection with a spotlight, something like that. For some people, this could be actually taking a vacation to a sunny location. There is that kind of direct, literal uh indication sometimes. Um, it could be because the traditional interpretation has frequently been about uh, romance. It could literally be like a date or a marriage or an engagement or something of that nature. For some people, it could be along those lines. For some Scorpios, it could just be a phase of clarity or ease inspired by something else, like maybe the boss goes on vacation, and so the workplace is just kind of lighter, you know, like when the boss is gone and there's just less pressure. Or for students and teachers, literally summer vacation starts in June for a lot of you, and it could just be that kind of 
summer's off feeling. But in its essence, the sun card is very much about lightness, ease, a sense of, or a freedom from worry, comfort, and clarity. The final card we have here is the Empress, which augurs a time of abundance and following the sun, it suggests that kind of after that easy breezy kind of moment of, you know, that time out or that vacation or that moment of success or victory, that kind of positive phase inspires a creative project or a renewed enthusiasm to take on a new effort or endeavor. It could be a job, but, you know, th these cards could really apply to anything else in, in your life. So for some of you, this could be uh, career uh, related. I don't necessarily see relationship um, cards here. It could be for some of you. For some of you, it could be a uh, your own sort of personal creative project, like if you've been working on a novel or, a, you know, a music album on your own. It could be, for one or two of you, it may literally be wanting to start a family and putting that together or building a home or working towards financing a home, something like that, improving your home, gardening, uh, something of that nature. But the Empress is a character who is full of not only creative ideas, but she has a capacity for um, nurturing and um, caring for something and bringing something to life, if not, you know, physically of her own body, then certainly of her own sort of spirit or capacity to bring something into this world into this world like a like a, like I said like a creative project or um, a garden or or something like that Scorpio I think this month you're going to see you're going to make a lot of important internal changes that will start to affect your external world as well I think you'll just find yourself making these small little changes to bring more balance into the world around you, maybe in your home, maybe in some relationships or your job, that then lead to more sort of clarity and ease, maybe even victory, maybe bring you more of the relationships you want or some career success. Um, and that frees you up to work on some projects that you've been wanting to bring into this world for some time. And Scorpio, if you'd like to share with me whatever this is, I'd love to hear about it in the comments if, if you'd be so inclined. But I, I hope this reading inspires you. In any case, thank you so much for dropping by. Until next time, take good care. Bye for now.